Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Dr. Parth Badwa. I am going to teach economics on this channel. Today we are going to discuss the most important and frequently asked topic specially for MCQ paper. So let's start with the topic that is production possibility curve. Now what is production possibility curve? So production possibility curve is a curve that shows various combinations of two goods that can be produced using given resource and technology. Let us understand this definition with the help of a graph. Suppose this is our production possibility curve. So that means ke any point lying on production possibility curve is basically an attainable combination. So point Y here is attainable combination or any point we can denote another point A that is attainable combination. So with the help of given resource and technology, we can produce any point lying on this production possibility curve. We have one more point that is point Z. What does this point Z denote? So point Z is basically unattainable combination. So unattainable combination means we don't have enough resources to produce point Z. We have one more point that is point X. So point X is basically inside the production possibility curve which means there is under utilization of resources. So our capacity to produce is much more than this point X. So how much we can produce if we utilize our resources efficiently. So if we utilize our resources efficiently, this point X can shift on the pre-production possibility curve. Uh, let's discuss the types of curve. There are basically three types of curve. First is concave, second is straight line and third is convex to the point of origin. But convex in case of production possibility curve is not possible. So we have two options that is concave to the point of origin and straight line. Now when, uh, when a production possibility curve can be concave to the point of origin. So it can be only the case when opportunity cost is increasing. However, if opportunity cost is constant, then it means it will be a straight line. So there are two possibilities. First is concave and second is straight line. Let us understand this in detail with the help of a diagram and table. Before starting with the types of curve, let us discuss the meaning of opportunity cost. Now, what is opportunity cost? So, opportunity cost is basically next best alternative foregone. In this case, with, we have two options. Either we can produce robots or we or combination of both the goods but if you want to increase the production of robots you have to reduce the production of wheat so wheat becomes an opportunity cost for the robots let us discuss the two types that is concave and straight line first is concave to the point of origin as i told you production possibility curve can be concave to the point of origin only when there is increase in opportunity cost. Let us prove this with the help of this schedule. We have total six combination. First combination is if you produce zero robots, then maximum 16 units of wheat can be produced. Second combination, if you produce one unit of robot, you can produce 15 units of wheat. So that means to increase the production of robot by one unit, you have to forego this one unit. Further, if you want to increase the production of again one unit, you will have to forego two units of wheat. Again one unit and you will have to forego three unit, which means your opportunity cost is increasing. And when opportunity cost is increasing, it will be concave to the point of origin. Second type is straight line. So production possibility curve will be a straight line when opportunity cost is constant. Let us prove this with the help of this schedule. 
here again we have given six combinations of output but we have two options either we can produce pizza broccoli or combinations of both if we produce zero pizza then maximum if we produce zero pizza then maximum 25 units of broccoli can be produced again if we increase the production of pizza by 20 units we will have two for both five units of broccoli further if you want to increase the production of 20 unit you will have to forego 5 unit again to increase the production of 20 units you will have to forego 5 unit which means your opportunity cost here is constant whenever it is constant you can see production possibility curve will be a straight line Production possibility curve can shift rightward, but when it can shift rightward, so only when there is increase in resource and technology. Let us understand this with the help of a graph. Initial production possibility curve is A. This A is our initial production possibility curve. But whenever there is increase in the resource and technology, this curve will shift rightward to B, B. This can only occur when there is increase in resource and technology. We have given one more point that is point X. What does this point X denote? So this point X denotes there is under utilization of resources. To make this topic more clear, let us solve some of the MCQs. First MCQ, an economy experiences a recession and moves from full employment to 5% unemployment. So whenever there is unemployment in an economy, what does this mean? We are not utilizing our resources optimally. So ideal point should be inside the production possibility curve which movement from x to y on the production possibility curve diagram shows the consequence for the economy as i told you if there is unemployment point will shift inside the production possibility curve so this point x will shift inside the curve to point y so a would be the correct answer now why b cannot be the answer because it means point x is shifting to new production possibility curve that is point y so this can only happen when there is degradation of resource or technology c also cannot be the right option why because c shows that initially we were producing this much capital and consumer good now we are increasing the production of capital goods and reducing the production of consumer goods so this is just a shift shift of point from x to y on production possibility curve so this is also not possible let's see the last option this x basically x it shows that this is unattainable combination so this is also not possible let's solve another mcq the product the let's solve another mcq the diagram shows a shift in production possibility curve so this point x is shifting to point y so that means there is rightward shift of production possibility curve what could cause the shift from x to y let us see the option first fall in the rate of unemployment if unemployment rate will fall then what happens okay, the resources that were underutilized will now be fully utilized and that is why the point from inside the cow should shift on to ppc so this is not possible next a fall in consumer demand that is also not possible next 
a rise in the rate of inflation that is also not possible now why this is possible a rise in the size of labor force if the labor force will increase that simply means there is increase in the resources so whenever there is increase in resource this curve should shift rightward let's solve next mcq the diagram shows the production possibility of a country producing at point t so first of all let us mark the point t the country has an aging population and decides to allocate more resources to the production of healthcare services so initially we were producing this much healthcare and this much non healthcare services now what is asked in the question which movement shows the change in the resource allocation so if you want to increase the production of healthcare as asked in the question you will have to reduce the production of non healthcare services so that means this point t will shift to point u so your answer will be c let's solve the next mcq a country's infrastructure was damaged by a natural disaster before the disaster the country was producing at point y so this is point y on the production possibility curve which point represents country's production immediately after the disaster so because of disaster what will happen resource will fall and that is why this y point will shift left to what to point d so this would be the right answer let's all next mcq the diagram shows a production possibility curve for an economy that can produce cotton and car the economy is at point q so this is basically your point q there is improved technology that can only be used for the production of car so now what will happen this production possibility curve will basically rotate as we can use or we are using better technology for the production of car so this point q will shift to point x so answer would be b let's all next the diagram shows an economy produ production possibility curve the economy moves from point x to point y so this is your point x and it moves to point y let's see what is asked what is the most likely effect of this change so what does this mean that you are reducing the production of capital goods to increase the production of consumer goods so first option different quantities of goods are produced so yes this is possible more people are employed if more people are employed what happens ke it will shift rightward there is an immediate fall in gdp so this is also not possible there is increase in investment if there is increase in investment production possibility curve should shift rightward so your answer will be a let's all last mcq the diagram shows the production possibility curve of an economy producing at point x so currently we are producing at point x at point x we are producing 70 capital goods and 180 consumer goods let's see what is asked in the question what would be the opportunity cost of moving point x to produce only consumer goods now if we will produce only consumer goods what will happen we will not be able to produce this capital goods so this 70 capital goods will be your opportunity cost thank you everyone for watching the video please like and subscribe the channel